an example of a difference in maybe demo approach or how you would uh, how would you go about making a demo and what's it for? If you're maybe more acoustic songwriter or in a band context versus an electronic musician, a solo producer. Um, so let's go back to some popular examples. This one's particularly interesting. Uh, we all know Prince for his kind of endless catalog of uh, music that we all appreciate as, as uh, dance music DJs, as hip hop producers, as just fans of music in general. He's one of the all time greats. Um, so he made, you know, kind of endless amounts of music. Uh, and one thing that he did do a lot, even though he's famous for his own songs, he wrote for other artists. And here's an example of kind of a treatment of like a full on demo song that he finished that then ended up being a hit for other artists. Well, let's check. Cool. So that's Prince's version of his song that he ended up writing for this group called The Bangles that it became a big hit for. That, like, it's a demo, but it's also not. He was such a prolific studio musician. He was able to complete basically entire recordings on his own. But it is a demo in the sense that it's for another artist. And this is a very common in popular music uh, just throughout the years that you have songwriters and you have the artists that end up singing those songs and make them a hit. Uh, and this is a more, like, slightly more contemporary example of that. Let's listen to where it went with the Bengals version of it. Cool. So I think that's a pretty, pretty solid illustration of like an acoustic demo, not in the sense of you could use some electronic instruments, but that's like a classic verse chorus kind of pop structure of uh, somebody who's writing a song for another artist and is demoing it in that sense. But what happens in the case of electronic music or, or beat makers, dance music producers, this kind of thing? The core inception of a, a track, it might just be a drum beat or something like that. Uh, and let's take a look at that. This is DJ Shadow, a demo for a tune of his called Changeling that is literally just a breakbeat and like one other element. Check this demo out. Cool. So it's basically just a loop, right? It's, we've all done that a bunch of times if we're producing hip hop or dance music or anything like that. You just you start a quick uh, quick loop that's just like a sketch and maybe you come back to it some point later and figure out, okay, how do we actually develop this, add a little bit of form. Uh, and let's see what he did. This is the album version of that. Cool. So this is a disparate example from the Prince one. Obviously, there's no vocal. This is not a, a pop song. We're talking about sort of developing a very, uh, very minute differences in a breakbeat. I, re I really like the structure here, though, that he pulled out of just that one loop idea. There's an intro, right? Then, so there's no drums. The drums drop in. It's cleaner. Then you get to this next cycle. It's a little bit more processed. He's cutting on top of it. 
And that sort of builds up this tension that then drops into a baseline finally being delivered. So think about a more minimal uh, electronic music production style where you're slowly unfolding cycles of, uh, of a groove or a basic sort of root. But you really needed that demo. You needed that like core breakbeat, just like that original inception to even get there. Um, so, yeah, that's a couple illustrating the differences between acoustic and electronic process and how you might approach demos in that sense. Cool. So there's a couple examples there, sort of acoustic pop songwriting and demoing versus more uh, conceptual electronic music. Um, yeah, this next lesson, we'll start getting to this idea of like, how do you get from a demo to a finished product? Where is this going? Uh, so stick around. <laughs>